current status right now is snowed the heck in. <laughs> Look at this shit. You guys, this is just so disappointing. <laughs> it's very pretty though. I mean, I can't lie. Um, the snow is beautiful, but um, I feel like I live in North Dakota or like Alaska even. <laughs> Like, no. Like, actually, this is what winter used to be like when I was a kid. When the weather wasn't all cray. You know, when winter was winter, summer was summer, spring was spring, fall was fall. You get it. Yeah. When the weather was actually normal. Um, but, yeah, I just can't even believe it, you guys. It's been so cold here, too. That I'm just ready for it to be done. But, anyways, I was sitting on the couch um, relaxing. My husband went to Moorfield to get his hair cut. But um, I was watching um, my brother. Do you guys, if any of you guys have been on my channel since I started YouTube, leave a comment down below. Probably not, <laughs> since I don't make the same types of videos as I used to. But um, if you have been, leave a comment. That'd be very interesting to see if anybody's been around that long. But um, anyways, me and my brother used to make YouTube videos back in the day. So um, you can go on like his old page and watch some of our dumb ass videos. But he has his own YouTube channel with his friends. Um, it's kind of like their little um, band. I don't know if I've ever told you guys, but like my brother is like really good at playing the guitar. And he likes to create things as far as like he's very good with a computer. And he um, has him and his friends have been creating like music. So, um, I've been watching them, um, right now, but if you guys want to go check them out, if any of you guys are interested in music, they're called Elusive Studios, um, go subscribe to his channel, but, um, they made a really cool song, like, it's just mind-blowing for me, um, to hear my brother and his friends, like, with these songs, like, this one's pretty cool here, it's called Racing with the Reaper, um, it's a rap song that they did, um, it's really awesome that my brother is doing this kind of stuff, I could see him, um getting famous one day because i really do see my brother um with a career um with music or computers of some sort he's also um, a game designer so um yeah i'm really proud of him but yeah if you guys want to go check out their youtube channel please do it because they're pretty awesome so yeah cole's taking a nap right now and we're just hanging out um and yeah, I also wanted to show you guys really quick. Cole's been down for like a really long time. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the house plan that I have picked out, but I haven't got to go over it with my dad yet to see like if everything's like okay with what I picked because it was very hard to find a house um, within the footage range and then like the floor plan be exactly what I like. You guys don't even know how hard that is to find something that you actually like on the floor plan. And with only a certain amount of footage to work with. It's it's a little challenging. Almost like I feel like everything in life <laughs> is a little hard sometimes. But um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys real quick. There we go. So this is what the house looks like. Okay. And here is the floor plan. So, you got the master bedroom over to the left with the master bath. Um, the only alteration I want to make on this is I actually want my closet to open up in the bathroom. So, I'd have to move these double sinks over here and get rid of that linen closet, which I don't really need a linen closet. Um, that's really unnecessary to have one in my bathroom. I don't really need that. I mean, they're nice, but I don't need that. Um, then, you got the living room. The kitchen's up here, and then the laundry room's right here. There's a small little pantry right there. Sorry, it's blurry. You guys can't really see that well. And then you go down a little miniature hallway, and the other two bedrooms and bathroom are over on that side of the house. Um, I like the way this is laid out. It's kind of different. Um, there's also, I think this is a little linen closet right there. The other two bedrooms ain't really that big, but guys, there's only so much space with a 1200 foot square home that you can work with um even though i think this is a pretty nice size house to be honest so yeah but it comes out see how the roof is pitched and stuff i have to ask my dad if that's going to be like a lot of money to do that and obviously me and my husband really want some type of front porch with a roof over it as well 
So we kind of have to figure out, um, by the way, these freaking floor plans are not cheap, you guys. Um, this floor plan alone is $600. Um, so I don't know if maybe, like, my dad said that he could help me, um, kind of make the house how I want it. Like, we could sit down and figure things out. And maybe that way I wouldn't have to purchase a floor plan. Um, I don't know, because that's what he did to his house, but I don't know. I might just have to freaking buy the damn floor plan. <laughs> but, um, yeah, because the floor plan will have the, um, you know, where the windows exactly go and stuff like that. So my dad would, like, it'd be easier for my dad, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, you guys, this is the only house off of this website that I liked that um, had the floor plan that I, like, everything in it that I want, like, double sinks in the bathroom, a, you, you know, a laundry room, um and then a walk-in closet but those are like the three big things that i want and also in the kitchen i want like a little um middle island or bar area but my dad can add that there's not really a lot of countertop space on this one which i don't really like but i don't know i'll have to see i'll have to work that out i guess um i don't know like i said this house might not even be able to work i don't know i have to like, I don't know if the house will look like that or not. I don't know. But I like this floor plan. That's all that I know. It's freaking stressful. House stuff is beyond stressful. Like, I didn't even know, um, like, building a house, you had to purchase the floor plans. I don't know why I never thought that. I guess what I thought is you could just print out the little basic floor plan that you see. And then a builder could just go and, like, do what he had to do. But, like, no, they actually need, like, measurement dimensions and all that. And I didn't know that because, guys, I don't build houses for a living, so I just didn't know what my dad did. My dad did not use a floor plan for his house, though. He kind of just did his own way. So he said he could sit down with me and, like, help me with that. So maybe we won't have to purchase the floor plan because $600 is a lot of money for that floor plan. Plus, I want to make sure that we stay within budget because if it's anywhere out of budget, then that's not going to work because we're in a budget, obviously. So, um, it's very, very difficult. But, um, those are just like the amenity things that I really want in my home. And then me and my husband looked at this fireplace. It was so affordable. It was only 300 bucks, okay? It was like one of those like um, electric fireplaces, so it's not like, you know, a built-in chimney or nothing, like a big fireplace, um, because I just feel like that's unnecessary. Um, me and my husband don't, we're not planning on burning wood or anything, so we don't need a fireplace for that purpose. I just want a fireplace so I can do something at Christmas time and like hang stockings from it, and I just feel like a fireplace makes your living room nice and cozy. But we found one on Lowe's for 300 bucks. It is so pretty, you guys. Like, I really like it. Um, If I can pull it up, I'll show it to you guys. Let me look real quick. Okay. So here's the fireplace, you guys. Isn't that pretty? And it's super freaking cheap. It's only 300 bucks. Like. And it's got the little mantle up on it so I could decorate it. Hang the stockings from it and everything. And I love the stone. Me and my husband have similar tastes. My husband really liked this one as well. So, As far as like flooring goes, um, I did want to do the living room and possibly like the hallway. If we have a hallway, it depends on what we do. Um, because like I said, we're not really sure yet. But I did want to try to do the living room with either um, kind of hard, either the some kind of hardwood or... Um, Kind of like this. This is called laminate hardwood, laminate flooring, so it's not real, but it looks like hardwood. Um, but they make one now that's called waterproof. Um, so I definitely wanted to get the waterproof kind if it's not that much money. But like I said, if I'm just doing like the living room, it shouldn't be that much money because this whole entire floor in this house, as you guys can see, it's all out through here all underneath this rug back the hallway um into our bedroom there's a lot of it there is a lot of flooring in this like a lot of laminate flooring in this house it was a thousand dollars for but i feel like that's actually not that bad for as much like i wouldn't be going for as much space needing to put it down so um yeah i either want to go with that or just do like laminate fake um you know 
like a wood plank look or something um it probably it's not going to be real hardwood guys like i would love to have real hardwood floor but um hardwood floor is very expensive and that could be like a project we could save for down the road one day and like we could always you know redo our flooring one day when we actually wanted to put money into doing it but we just want to get up on that hill so bad so um yeah if we've already been thinking about things me and my husband have very similar taste like i was telling you guys with houses i think my husband's um likes the black appliances which i like the black appliances too i really like all of them i like white or black or stainless steel but stainless steel is kind of like eh because you gotta like the fingerprints like i know they make like smudge resistant and all that so i don't really know what we're gonna do it all depends on like what kind of sales we can find but i think we're probably gonna probably go for like i could see me and my husband probably picking out black appliances i don't really know though i'm not 100 percent, but um i, I do want to do like some of my walls gray of some sort because i like gray and white i like the gray and white look i thought about doing my kitchen like that um I'm very neutral so I like a lot of neutral I was trying to find a gray plank flooring because I think it's me and my, my husband really likes that probably he likes it more than I do but it's kind of different but um it's very expensive for some reason I don't really know why but um so yeah we're either gonna probably go with my husband wants dark wood of course he likes the dark wood which I love dark wood but guys it is very hard and it drives me crazy because it shows every speck of dirt that's what i don't like about it but it's very pretty i love the dark wood um and light colored walls like i'm very neutral like i said i like white so i can see us our house being some something like that probably very similar to like what we chose in this house but um i don't know a couple things might be different in the new house um, so we'll see. I don't know. Um, I might not do the same color trim that's in this house. It's actually walnut and it's, I mean, I love it, but it's very dark. So we might do a, either white trim or, um, I don't know if I want white though either, you guys, to be honest. I don't really know. It'll have to, I'll have to wait and see like what color I paint my walls in the new house and everything, but holes, the new holes. But yeah, as you guys can tell, I'm very excited about our house plans. Um, I'm so pumped, you guys. Um, my husband's daughter goes to the bank on Saturday. Today, well, tomorrow. Today is Friday. And she will know um, if they're going to get the loan or not. So I'm super excited. Um, hopefully everything goes well. I don't really see why they couldn't get the loan. We also gave them a deal, so I don't really see why not. But yeah, I'm excited. I'll have to update you guys on that, though. But yeah, I'm going to go now because I'm not doing nothing. weather finally broke you guys it is 50 some degrees today if not 60 degrees it is so nice um i mean yeah it's still like sweatshirt approval weather or whatever wear a little light jacket but man it's so warm out here all the snow is almost gone hallelujah <laughs> um it didn't take long but today is sunday um i haven't vlogged at all because it's been a pretty like boring weekend um, I'm making a sirloin tip roast in the crock pot tonight, and um, Mackenzie, my husband's daughter, and her girlfriend just left. They come out to visit and talk about house stuff, but yeah, they pretty much, pretty much got approved for their loan to buy this house off of us, so I'm super happy about how all that stuff went. There's just like a couple of finalized things that we have to do, like they have to turn in some papers. Um, me and my husband have to go up here at my mom's tonight and print out a, um, paper selling that we're going to sell this place or something to them. And then they're going to get, like, an appraiser out here to appraise the place. And we're going to be underway with our house, dude. I am, like, so happy right now, um, and relieved just because, um, you know, it's kind of nerve-wracking going through, like, bank loans and not really knowing what's going to happen and... Um, some banks are very picky than other banks and yeah so um, I'm really really excited and me and my husband are pretty much approved for our loan as well which is awesome so the next thing to do after we get um, after they get their money to buy the place is that we will be able to pay off what we owe here 
and go ahead and get our loan so we can start building our house. So um, that's going to probably start in March, I would think. Um, we have to decide what we're going to do with our road. Me and my husband were just talking about it, but to do, I was going to show you guys real quick. I'll show you. Cole also was like on nap strike today. Like he was not going to take that second nap and he finally just went down. It's like three o'clock. He is so tired. So, um, hopefully he sleeps for a little while. I need to finish up my decluttering video so I can get that up for you guys. Hopefully it'll be up tomorrow for you guys. Um, but yeah, okay, back here, I'll kind of show you guys. Right here, there's like a little road that my dad made a long time ago, and it goes down like this. And then like, um, for the like bottom part, they'd have to bulldoze us out, put a culvert in the ditch, then shoot the road up somehow like that it's gonna be awful steep though I just don't really I just don't really know about it you guys I don't really see I just don't really see how they're gonna do this um they're gonna have to bring the road like gradually like way out because it's gonna be like a really steep ass drive so I don't really know about this option me and my husband still kind of like the option from the bottom of the hill which is like down there is the hauler and just where our mailbox is, there's like a little road behind this woman's house that comes up this way. Um, we'd have to get permission though to do all that. I don't really know like who owns that. But um, it would make more sense to come from the bottom of the holler and straight up to our house, I think. But um, anyways, so the road that we were going to use behind my mom and dad's house, um, I don't really think, I mean I don't really think that my mom and dad really cared a whole bunch. But I think they were just trying to talk us into something else because my mom wasn't so crazy about the thought of other people coming by her house to get to my house. Um, because they'd have to drive like right in their basement area and then down our road. And I guess my mom wasn't really, which I don't really blame her. I mean, not that me and my husband ever get company, which my mom knows this. But still, it's not the point like for people to come to our house. And also it would be like a really long way to get to the house when this option or the bottom option would be a lot faster. So yeah, I'm sorry about all the rambling house updates. I'm just very excited about it. Um, I'm just trying to keep you guys updated on things because um, we have been through this process before with houses and stuff don't fall through for us. Um, but this year, shit is underway. <laughs> and I am, we're pretty serious about everything. So yeah, our next step after the road would be to get up there um, or the next step would be we got to get our land surveyed so that way we know which which land we're giving to Mackenzie here she just gets like this acre or, or half I don't know what it is quarter of an acre with this house sits on and the rest is still ours but we have to get it surveyed so we also know how far out we can extend up top so we're not on the other person's land which we have to contact that person and get them up there and um, he actually negotiated with us before and said that he would be willing to switch some land pieces with us if we needed to so he's a really nice guy he lives down in the holler so I don't think it'll be an issue but um yeah things are happening guys um health update um I'm doing pretty well actually but I still have like some issues with um like acid reflux and um I don't really know why that's like ain't going away either I really still am healing an ulcer or um I don't really know or it could be my gallbladder um which I'll find out on Thursday but um I don't really know um another thing could be is that I could have one of those initial hernias I guess um another thing that I'm experiencing the best way to describe it to you guys is it feels like food actually gets stuck in my throat and I can't get it to go down and sh I can feel it in there um that is actually called something as well. I think I was telling you guys this. But yeah, it never ends. Um, but I mean, I'm feeling well. I just wish that I could get over like the whole like whatever the hell's wrong. Like to come on here and possibly end this vlog because I think it's long enough. Um, it's been a very boring, boring vlog. So I do apologize. But it's basically just house updates. Um, I don't even honestly remember what I vlogged because it was so boring. So I do apologize. But um... Hopefully the next vlog will be more entertaining. Hopefully we can get 
somebody to take Cole this week. My mom mom that normally takes him and my aunts. She's actually had shingles. So it's kind of risky to take Cole to be around her in case he might get the chicken pox. So um, we're waiting to see how she's feeling. If she's feeling good this week, then we might have an opportunity to have a day to pro probably clean out our vehicles because we really need to do that. It's going to be warm all week. I'm so excited. It's going to be like high 50s this week. It's going to be such nice weather. I did walk a little bit earlier. Um, so yeah, it's been a boring weekend, but can't complain. A lot of exciting things are underway now, so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this vlog be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new i make new videos every single week stay tuned for a new decluttering video which you've already seen by now and um hopefully you guys like that video and if you guys want to see more stay tuned because i will be doing a lot more my mom actually wants me to come up and declutter a little bit of her house so stay tuned i love you guys very much and we'll see you in the next one bye guys